Hey. I got a message on Discord from Snafu Pat, Patrick of the Snafu uh, podcast. And last uh, episode they released, they were talking about A Gentleman's War, the box set from Warlord Games that they had gotten hold of. And they were... <coughs> Uh, Pat was was thinking about how can 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 you actually make this competitive, and he gave me a challenge. Um, can you make the Gentleman's War box competitive? Can you make that competitive? Can you make Bridge competitive? Um, some limitations here. One, the Germans have to be DAC, which I take to mean that they, it, it needs to be one of the DAC theater selectors. I'm going to go and and at least point two out to you guys in a minute. Um, and two, um, the Brits, they're going to have to be non-Gurkha 8th Army Brits um, because the, the models in the box, let me show you the models in the box, just a sec. That is the limitations that we're working with, right? I'm here, uh, I'm uh, uh, Warlord Games' uh, homepage, and here we have the the Africa cores. I'm going to go back to them, and there we have the the sprues, right? That's the 8th Army sprues, and um, as far as I'm aware, you can't actually make Gurkhas out of these, although you could, of course, kid bash them some. Um, my own... I own a collection of Gurkhas um, and and they are made with the Perry sprues. Uh, I really like the Perrys, they are more realistically built. Um, in in my eyes I'm a Perry fanboy. Um, but but these these guys they, they do work and, and you could kid bash them quite easily to become Gurkhas if you wanted to or Chindits or whatever you basically wanted to. Head swaps would be um, the, the first thing you do, right? So, but I'm going to go back to these, uh, the Brits, in a second video. Right now, I wanted to uh, have a look at the um, at the Germans. So, here we go. So, what we have here is 24 infantry miniatures. Because I'm going to, I'm going to, basically, I'm going to build out from this box set. I'm imagining I got this box set. Um, what am I going to do? Trying to build something competitive. So I've got 24 miniatures. They're on infantry sprues, so I, I don't get any special weapons. I do get the LMGs. I get uh, a light mortar, I can see here, and a um, an anti-tank rifle. So these things may be part of what I want to do, but um, let's just take it where it leads. Um, so the video today here is basically me trying to build a dark army that's competitive. Um, then I'm going to show you what Pat is is uh, doing, and I'm going to do a list review of his um, attempt at the same thing. I haven't actually seen it before I go and, and do my build. So I'm going to start with that. Now, um, there are two places that you could go uh, with the dark. You could uh, do 1942 Dark Light Africa Division, which I am going to do, um, or you could do the, let me just see here, 1941 uh, Dark Light Division, 1941 Dark Light Division. Now, the, the benefit of the Dark Light Division is that it's got double tank slots, so if you're going to run um, a single platoon event theaters. Um, this might be it for you. And it's got a pretty decent selection of tanks here. Um, so it's it's got the Panzer twos. It's got the Panzer threes. Is this the double uh, machine gun one? No, it's not. Um, it's the medium tank one with. Um, a medium anti-tank gun, which is kind of good. And I, if I remember correctly, these actually get a bonus to long range shots or something like that as well. Um, the issue here for me is that um, you can only take regular hair infantry or veteran hair infantry. Um, and I want to do something with the, um, 
with the infantry in the box. So this is not an optimized version for me. So I am going to go and and do the uh, 1942 duck. That would be my theater selector here. Right. So this theater selector looks very much like a regular standard uh, platoon, but it does have quite a lot of artillery slots, which becomes very interesting, right? So, but, but first I want to just build what we have in the platoon. So we have 24 infantry miniatures. We're going to need ourselves a lieutenant. Uh, I'm going to start with a regular man. I'm not going to give him any extra dudes yet, but I might at some point give him a few extras. And then we're going to build Schutzen squads. Why? Well, because you get the... Um... No, you don't. Yeah, you do. You get one LMG for free. So these are going to be my backline holders. I'm going to add two of these. And I'm not going to give them extra men. I'm not going to do anything in, in, because backline holders, they're just there to be the LMG and to deliver pins and maybe move on to an objective at some point. Two of those. That's 40 points of free LMG. Perfect. Love it. Um, so that is 10, that's 11 men uh, in our choices so far. We also have, if you go and, and see this, um, here we go, we have the year 222. So I'm, of course, going to add one of those because we have one. I bought the box after all. So a 222 uh, light armored car. The 222 is is quite good. It's an it's a nice armored car. The only downside is, of course, that it is open topped. It has a light auto cannon and a coaxial MMG. I'm not going to replace that with anything else right now. You could, um, but I, I'm not sure it's worth it actually. Right. Now we have a lot of infantry left. Right. We've only used 11 of the infantrymen, and we have 24 on the sprue. So we are going to try and boost out. Now, I can quite easily, from what I've got in that box, I can quite easily make a Brandenburger squad. So I am going to do that. Um, and do I want it to be a little bit more beefy? That's my question right now. Hmm. Let's start with the basis. Five Brandenburgers, and I'll give them submachine guns. It does make them more expensive, but also it makes them more uh, shooty in close range. So they become a little bit of a push unit. So that brings us up to 16 choices we've taken. We can take more of these Schutzen squads. Should we though? No. I can't remember if this is a mistake, but if it's not, I really want to take the MG34 because this is what a, um, um, sorry, brain fart here. This is what an, an MMG should be, this. This is five shots, 50 points, not fixed. That is perfect. Again, a good backline holder unit. And a good way to to use all those um, those LMGs on the sprues. If there are more than two sprues of LMGs, that is, is how I would use them. I can't. I haven't actually opened the box. I'm not sure. Maybe we can see it here. What does the sprue actually look like? Can we see that? No, we can't. Oh well. Um, if there are more LMGs on the sprue, this is how I would do it. Um, if not, of course, that changes it a bit. But we have two machine gun choices, and I want to go with LMGs for both of them. Right. Then, because we can't, so that is one, two, that's four men on top of, so we have. We've got four men, we've got four men left on the sprue. 
we had a light mortar in our box so I'm buying a light mortar. I'm buying it inexperienced because there's no reason to take it regular. If I, I mean, I can't use the spotter anyway. Um, and then we might as well build the anti-tank rifle as well because we've got it on the sprue. There we go. That is my optimized version of how to spend your points with a gentleman's war box. Now, what would I add? I would, of course, start adding um, artillery slots if if I can. However, most of these are not that interesting. What we really want, if you want to build a full uh, strength, a full sized, um, sorry, if a full sized um, dark force, is you want some, um, some you want a howitzer basically. You could go the 88, that is an amazing gun, but it is very, very expensive, 160 points. So, um, yeah, no, I don't think so. And I also want, of course, I want, if I can get it, the... Uh, I want the Panzer with the extra MMGs if I can. It's not actually listed here, but I think you can take it. Hmm. It's not listed. I think you can take the uh, Panzer three uh, with extra LMGs. I just can't see it anywhere. But that is what I would want. Um, then I would want a howitzer. And then uh, to fill out the remaining infantry uh, sections. Um, so so I would get myself a Panzer III. I would get myself a howitzer. I would get myself a unit of pioneers. Um, then a couple of more of these Schutz and Squads. Because you can. And that is quite a lot of infantry, infantry choices that you get. Um, maybe a heavy field car or two for the Pioneers and the Brandenburgers. Um, let's just build that out so that you can see. I am getting myself an inexperienced light howitzer. I am getting myself a unit of Pioneers with a flamethrower. Getting myself one more Schutzen here. Um, the Schutzen are, are, are quite good. They're, they're not amazing, um, but they will mean that you have quite a lot of darker in your back lines with all these LMGs. Um, so, so they become sort of a, a good skirmish ambush line where you can have several LMGs pointing in, in the same areas of the battlefield. Um, since I can't find my the uh, the Panzer that I want, I'm just going to pick the Panzer uh, G here and say, well, if the points fit, if we can um, take the, uh, the the Panzer F with the double uh, coaxial MGs, that's the one we want, and I think it's around around the same um, amount of points because it's got a light AT gun, right? And then heavy field car doesn't need to be anything other than inexperienced. And another heavy field car for the Brandenburgers. So the Brandenburgers and Pioneers can move up together. Right, there we go. And that is approximately what I want. I have a few points left over that could go into our lieutenant, making him a, uh, a small infantry unit with assault rifles. Right, so that would approximately be what I would get, um, how I would build out from my uh, initial gentleman's war box. Um, 16 order dice, 988 points, so I have a few points left over. I could still 
fiddle around with it some um, and you, you get quite a lot of light machine guns um, this could be competitive uh, especially in an environment where you only get one platoon the main issue here is that you don't have that much anti-tank uh, capability you might even want to hang on to your um, um, your Panzer III with a medium AT gun simply because it's it's the best way to get some anti-tank uh, capability into your army list here. Uh, the 222 is quite a good little uh, armored car. We get the anti-tank rifle, we get a light mortar team, we get a light howitzer team, um, lots of MGs, one, two uh, LMGs, then two four shots and units, the lieutenant is a unit in his own right. We get the pioneers and the Brandenburgers in the heavy field car. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I think um, I think a good German player could make this work. So let's see what Pat wants to do with his army list. Fifteen order dice, right? Right around the same um, order dice range that I'm at, and a thousand points. And he does double platooning, where he has one German reinforced platoon, okay, and a dark dual platoon, okay. All right. So, I'm I'm not necessarily a fan of this. Um, once we're into the dual platoon terrain area, then. There are a lot of theater selectors that you can make a lot stronger than the DAC. Um, so I think their competitiveness goes down when double platoons are allowed. Um, even more so because you're paying the lieutenant tax twice. So instead of, of 60 points, you're paying 100 points for your officers. Mm. Yeah, that sucks. We have uh, riflemen, eight men, rifles, regulars. These are skirmishers. They are they are quite good. Can be backline holders, but can also push up more than perhaps the the Schutzen units that I had in my uh, platoon. Then we have an anti tank rifle team, right? All of this can be built from the pack here. Then we have a. Uh, light, uh, sorry, the uh, 250 slash 9. Yeah, this is this is actually even better than the 222 because it's not open topped um, and it's a uh, half track, um, giving you a little bit of extra range and maneuverability. Really nice. Then the Panzer II looks, the looks is uh, fairly good. Um, has the light auto cannon coaxial MMG? Why doesn't it get the recce rule? Is this another version of the Panzer II? Hmm. Then we have a dark dual platoon, second lieutenant, hair pioneers, hair pioneers, double hair pioneers. Now this is the benefit of not running the dark light platoon as I did. Um, you can have more pioneers, and pioneers are of course very, very good. Um, they become, they are veteran, uh, so they are expensive, but they are very good. The one thing is, I would add is you can't really build this from the box. You're going to have to get yourself flamethrower uh, equipped models. A medium mortar team, medium howitzer, inexperienced, both of them. Um, yeah. If you have the points for a medium howitzer instead of a light one, as I did, yes, go for it. Um, then we have a motorcycle with machine, machine gun sight car. I uh, really like these. These are really good. They're very fun to play. Um, very, very good skirmish unit. Then the Panzer III. Let's look here. Right, it's 140 points, so I even save a few points. Mine was uh, 155. Um, yeah, so this is the uh, Panzer 3E or F version. This is the double coaxial one. Um, and double heavy field cars. Right. Um, what would I change? Well, 
as I said, I, I don't think this is actually um, strong enough to compete with some of the other things that you could see when you're double platooning. When you're double platooning, you're going to run into double silo heights, um, which could be four darker stewards, right? Um, what are you going to do against that? You're, you're just going to get wrecked most of the time, right? So, so um, for me, the, the, the dark, once you go into double platoon area, is not going to be worth it. But you can build uh, quite an interesting and, and okay version of dark as a German reinforced platoon. You, of course, you don't get the, um, the Schützen in, in that. Uh, they are theater only, as I recall. Um, is what it is, but you can do a little bit of the same uh, of what I've done here. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, one of the main drawbacks of, of running DAC um, is, of course, that you don't get the Panzerfausts. They were not uh, in the desert. They they were a late war invention, and and that means that most deck platoons are going to struggle if there is a, the opportunity for the enemy to have a lot of armor. Um, which once you go into theater platoons or double platoons, that becomes a thing. Um, so you can, with some of the deck versions, build something that could work, um, but only because you're only going to see double uh, armor. In, in single platoons. If you're going into double platoons, that's four times armor, then it's not going to happen. Right, that was my video on how to make DAC competitive. And thank you so much for the challenge, Pat, and thank you so much for the list. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Cheers.